Hello YouTube, this is ABC, and today I'm making a tutorial about how to add and remove objects in a game with your mouse. This tutorial was suggested by HUD in the Mushroom Head, and it's, um, this effect is basically used a lot in, uh, in Minecraft to add and remove objects, and then you can use, and then I'm also teaching how to use scroll to select them. So, first we're going to start making four sprites. Okay, the first part we call SPR select. So this is going to be the selection tool. Okay, add sprite. Let's create a new image index and reset canvas. Make the width 24 and the height 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to make three panels on here. Since for this tutorial we're going to have three different things to choose from. So I'm going to make it a tall and wide. Then simply select the panel and copy it two more times. Okay, in the first panel we're going to um, fill it in with a brown color, because that will represent dirt. In the second we're going to fill it in with a grayish color, to represent stone. And in the third we're going to fill it up with a light yellowish color to represent sand. So now we're going to duplicate this image twice, and we're, we're going to create a yellow outline to indicate which one is selected. So in this image, we're going to have dirt selected, so select the square tool, make sure it's on outline, and just draw a yellow outline. Go to the next image, yellow outline the second one, and yellow outline the third one. Okay. Now let's create three sprites to indicate each individual element. First one we're going to do is dirt. Add a sprite, let's make it 16 by 16. Like so. Then select your brown color, fill it in. You can duplicate the sprite, call next one SPR stone. Good, gray color. And then for the last one, we'll make it call it SPR sand. And give it the light yellow color again. That's far too bright yellow. Light yellow. Okay, so now let's make an object. We'll start with the selection object. Call OBJ select. For the sprite, we'll give it that um, select sprite. And in the creation event, it's important that we set image speed zero. Because we don't want to randomly flip through all each of the sub image. We want the sub image to indicate which one is selected and we want to change what we want to change. Okay. So now let's program the changing. So for mouse wheel up, so when we scroll up, we want to, in most cases, we want to go up the sub image, but if it's on its last one, we want to go back to the beginning. So if it's on the last one, or in this case, image index equals 2 because 2 is the last one and I have to want to go down to 0 but the if there and otherwise we want to just add one now let's duplicate that Oops. now let's duplicate that for the mouse wheel down for this one I want to do print the same thing if you go zero, we want to go to the highest one, which in this case is two. And otherwise, we want to go down by one. Sorry, the mouse wheel up. This has to be zero because the lowest one is zero, not one. Sorry about that. Okay. So now it should, um, when we scroll up and down, it should change some image to indicate which one we select. So now let's create our four elements. Or do this, we'll start making a group. This is purely for organizational purposes, to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then in the group will create OBJ dirt. Get the sprite and that's all that's necessary. The next one we're gonna call it OBJ stone. Give it the sprite. And the next last one we'll call OBJ sand. And give it the sprite. Really quite simple. Okay. Now we're going to program when we click the object is created. So We'll do mouse, make sure it's global mouse, left button rather than mouse, left button, because 
otherwise only work if you place it right on top of the select button. So, whenever we do this, we want it to create one of our blocks. So, the function we use for that is instant create. And we want to create, create where the mouse is. So, do mouse x, mouse y, and the object we want. In order to indicate the object we want, we if we want object dirt to be created, we only want that to happen if image index equals zero. And then we'll do that accordingly for the other ones. But first, I'm going to talk about something about mouse x, mouse y. It looks a lot nicer if we manage to get to align to the grid of 16 by 16. That way, if they're next to each other, they don't overlap, and it just looks a whole lot better. So, there's a function for this, but I I prefer to do mathematically and get a little more from it. So I'll just put down the ma math stuff and then I'll explain it later. So type down minus mouse x mod no, uh, mod 16. Okay, mod stands for I've heard it called modulus or modulo or I'm not exactly sure. I've heard multiple things, but what it means is. It'll divide mouse x by, it'll take 16 for mouse x as many times as possible, and then this returns to a left over. So let me give you a few examples. If mouse x equals 17, and we do that, mod 16, we get 1, because 16 only goes into 17 once, and one, what's left over is 1. Another one, let's say 27. 16 still only goes into 27 once, but this time, 11 is left over. Let's say 38 mod 16. Signs are just more clear. 38 mod 16. Um, this time, mod 16 goes in there twice. So you, you take out 32 because 16 is 32. And then that's left over 6. So that's how mod works. So in this case, if you subtract, subtract the mod, mod 16 number, you'll get a number that's divisible by 16, so it'll line perfectly. Now, do the same thing for mouse x. Sorry, mouse Y. Works the same way there. Now we're going to duplicate these a few times for the different elements that we're using. So if image index equals 1, we want to create stone. Image index equals 2, we want to create sand. And that's it. Now let's program in the destroying of those elements. So. I'll do global mouse for the same reason, so right button. So for destroying, we'll use the function position destroy, and then we'll just um, type down the x and y value of the position we want to destroy. So this will destroy all um, all objects that hold the position mouse x and mouse y. The reason why I don't have to do the mod thing this time is because this. Is, um, we'll store anything as a mask that collides with this, so there are very many x and y values that can be collided back. Now let's create a room. We'll just add, to add the select object, and now test it. Okay. So you can see our select area right here. If I scroll up, it goes up perfectly. If I scroll down, it works well. Now it's on the dirt, so I have to left click to create dirt, and it aligns nicely. Let's go to some stone, create sand. Good. And if I scroll up to sand, it creates sand. Also, if I right click, it destroys them. So that is all that goes into creating and destroying objects with your mouse. So we'll take this off the list. Thank you guys for, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other suggestions for things to go on this list, then suggest them. I'll probably do them in a week. This one was a little bit later because I forgot to do one last week. So, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, click the screen for more of my tutorials and we'll see you guys next time.